Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Cabin on the Hill. Everybody, that's my son, James. Um, if you guys are wondering, Kevin has been doing a lot of content out there, and he's going to have a bunch of it ready for you for long. So be patient, and Kevin will have some stuff out on the Boring Channel, Mom Care Juggernaut, and what's the other channel we've got? The Impatient Channel. So just be patient with Kevin. He is working on content. So uh, tell us a little about this job. Um... <laughs> I forgot to hit the record button. So, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Tell all right, so that. after I get done cutting this tree up, which uh, I'm pretty sure was an OSHA violation. Uh, yep, yeah, there it right is. There. Uh, anyway, after I get done cutting this tree up, I get a call about a job interview. I was well excited. I forgot to hit the record button again. So uh, we totally messed up on the front yard on this thing, but it was pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was thick. He, he uh, ran over a few times to mulch up everything he mowed down. Yeah, it was really thick. Yeah. It, we've been getting a little rain here, so it was, it was moist. So I would really like to uh, give a shout out to everybody viewing this. Thank you very much for your support, your kindness, your comments. We do love it all. And it's a... Uh, it keeps us going and uh, we get to do things like this because without you guys we can't do these things and I know you guys hear Kevin say that a lot but it's true without your support we can't continue to do these jobs for people these the owners of the house um, there was a bunch of ladies in the house I didn't see a lawnmower the whole time they were there, did you? I, I didn't so they probably couldn't afford to have their lawn mowed I don't know this, I'm just guessing, but, and they didn't have a lawnmower, so we, we really helped them out, and uh, the owner of the house was kind of shy, and she didn't want to be on camera this time, so it's all right. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult getting on camera if you're not used to it. Like, Kevin had to, when I was working with him, he had to coax me into uh, getting on camera. So if you notice, they do have little dogs, and they do have a couple of them. And I think they were just letting them out to potty. I would assume so. Yeah. So I'm sure everybody loves their puppies. I sure hope they do. Well, sometimes you got to put them out on the chain so that they don't get hit by a car. And that road was pretty busy. I know. I almost got hit once. Yeah, I know. I had to yell at you to stop. I didn't think you could hear me because the motor was going. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I seen it out of the peripheral of my eyes. Well, I was hoping you did, but that lady wasn't slowing down for nobody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you'd think on a side street like that, everybody would kind of watch out for the children. Well, yeah, but that time of day, you know, it's one o'clock. You got to get home. It's one o'clock? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I the, don't know what she was doing. I just assumed she was there. Uh, oh, God, that's so many. Uh, so many. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a big ant pile. Yeah, those were two big ant piles, and... Uh, you can't see it on camera, but I was watching the dirt where he had just ran over, and it was like millions of little ants. And I, I had a feeling that he had thrown a bunch out in the yard when he hit the pile, so I was really worried about walking across there. I'm sure there was a bunch of mad ants. Oh, yeah, you could. You didn't see them on the pile when you drove by it? I didn't even see the pile until I hit it. Oh, man, it was, it was a lot of ants. Oh, when I drove back pile, by it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see. Well, after you hit them, I started looking around and I started noticing all the piles that were around me. And I was like, oh man, thank God I didn't step in none of those. Thank you for picking those Oh, you're welcome. When I was picking those up, you kicked your blades on and something smacked me in my forehead. Where's your safety glasses at? I kept forgetting them at home. Last couple jobs. I will remember them next time, you know. Well, I, I know somewhere in this video I handed you my glasses and said, here, Jim. Yeah. Because I was feeling sorry for you. You had little bumps on your forehead and stuff. Well, there was a point when you were mowing the front yard on this, which I wish we would have got on camera, but a uh, rock flew past my face and hit the side of the house as I was weeding. Uh -huh. And uh, so I, I figured I'd just stand back and watch the camera while you were mowing. Is, is that another ocean safety violation? Not on my part. <laughs> I didn't hit the rock. So this was a pretty big backyard, and in them bushes right there, there was a lot of poison ivy. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, I think we've been very lucky this year not to get poison ivy. Yeah, 
Not yet. Well, I think we're also lucky Mom keeps Don dish soap in the bathroom in case yeah. we need to shower with I have used a lot of it this year. Yeah, I noticed there's not a lot left. We're going to have to get another bottle soon. <laughs> so back to the lawn. What you, what'd you take of this place? That wasn't too bad. I was impressed with the size of the yard. I, I think uh, I think it would suck to do that with a push mower for sure. Yeah, but I really didn't see any mower in your yard. Uh, it looked like it had been a while, but... And when did she keep moving the camera a lot? I'm just trying to keep you in frame. Are you, are you learning? Meh. 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 And, you know. So, I, I, I gotta say, James, you got a really good deal with uh, voices. Think Arnold could come in and talk to me about the lawn? I, I did. Let's hear it. Hello there. How are you doing today? <laughs> You got any other one? I might have a few. <laughs> so it, it's really hard to uh, just pull them out. Or your voices, like random. randomly, I had to. Sometimes I have to think about what I want to say. And sometimes I can, you know. Uh, yeah, we understand. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so we're done with this. Thing. Yeah, it didn't take as long as I wait, thought. Wait, wait. There's more. Oh, wow, yeah, two for one. Wow. So uh, this ditch here is actually a drain, drainage ditch for the city, and it, after that pole right there, there's this giant hole in there. And it's rather deep. Oh, yeah, it's uh, so, it was a good three or four foot drop down there. I was kind of uh, scared of what I might find in that tall grass, because it, it was probably about two feet. I think uh, my biggest fear since I've moved back to Arkansas is snakes and ants. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Especially that's, this that's why we did the uh, the playground because we were worried about the snakes. Oh yeah. I'm glad we didn't meet up with one because when we lifted up those ramps, oh, I was so I was, I was pretty uh, stressed at that point because <laughs> that's the kind of thing snakes like to hide under. Oh yeah. Water boxes, rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes. We, we've, we've got, got a several problem. several rattles. Yeah, there's like three or four different kinds here, I think. I honestly don't know for sure. I'd have to do some research. This house here is uh, one we're doing right. Oh, wait, we went back to the other one. We just all over the place. Well, yeah, you did the, uh, you did that ditch, and then we went back to weed eat the rest of the stuff we didn't get. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, I don't know. It wasn't a bad job. I mean, I've done some jobs with Kevin where I was like, I hope this ends soon. He'd be like, oh, I'm going to take this more than an hour. And it was like four or five hours later. And I'm like, okay, man. I've been on a couple of those jobs with Kevin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, sometimes it doesn't look as bad as it is until you get like in the meat of it. And then it's a nightmare. And you're just like, well, we said we were going to do it. So we finish it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's never a bad thing working with you guys. So for doing this job for me, I, I imagine when they came outside, we, we never really seen them when we finished the job. I would say they were. I mean, they, they didn't have to hire anybody to They didn't have to mow it themselves, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're not, we're not trying to steal work away from anybody, but. Now, there was flowers back there, so I didn't take them. Yeah. yeah. And there was flowers there. We kind of trimmed it up a little bit, but not much. Now, this is where the drain is. Going in there. I'm surprised you didn't see snake there. Well, you know, was usually, you, was you scared? Usually, the only time I saw snakes when I was working with Kevin is uh, after I'd smacked them with the weed eater, and they weren't moving much after that. So, was Arnold scared? Arnold ain't scared of nothing. It's Mr. Universe. Uh, what about Superman? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I kind of had an idea where the hole was. I was avoiding it. Uh, yeah, it, there was one point I was like, oh, man. you know, they didn't have a sidewalk on that road, so, you know, if you were running along and you didn't know that was there, you, you're going to take a dip. Yeah, you're taking a dip down in that dark So you think that made it safe for people so they could see the I would assume so. I didn't hear about little Timmy falling in the well when they got done. So. Little Timmy. <laughs> yeah, it was... I was actually surprised how deep that was. There you go, losing the camera again. Well, I, 
I wasn't trying to mess up your shot. I was just trying to keep you afraid. No, no, no. It, it's when you're moving the camera, it makes it really nauseous. Camping sounds. Well, yeah, when you put it at like four times speed. Well, you know, it's my grass. So yeah. I kind of want to speed it up a Well, I mean, some people do. There's some people that are like, slow well, camera down. I like the sound of the fireworks. I like the sound. Well, I do too. I mean, you know, it's, it's the best time of the year. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. That's warm outside. You know, this house was vacant. I'm pretty sure it was. It didn't look like any place been there for a long time. Yeah. There was a lot of uh, growth. Yeah, and then the railing there around the porch. It was just oh. massive mounds of ants. Well, yeah, I seen when you hit something. It was great. Oh no. Well, it. I didn't notice it. It looked like dead mounds to me. Sometimes uh, you'll come across mounds that are old and. Like usually I'll throw a lock at it just to see what happens because I like watching them swarm. But I didn't see any ants at first and then the weed eater took a huge chunk out of the side of it and there was just millions of them all of a sudden. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm going to go over here. You sent me over. What? I figured you saw the mound. After I weed eat all this grass down, it wasn't hard to see it. <laughs> Right there is where you got it, right? Yeah, it's right there in the corner where it, it, the driveway turns into the walkway through the front door. And then you're like, Daddy, go get that? Yeah. Well, you handle the ants better than I do. I blow it up like I, a... I blow it just as much as they do you. Oh, yeah. Well, I blowed it up like a water balloon last time. Had to take the... Yeah, your, lip, your lips blew up. Your lips got real big and your eyes swelled shut. Yeah. I thought you were going to take you to the hospital. Yeah. Mom gave me the Benadryl. I, I scraped out a bit. It took about three or four days before I was back to normal completely. So guys, we're just kind of rambling here, but we just wanted to talk a little bit about this one. Let you know that we're doing this for fun. We're doing this for kind of a side thing. We really enjoy helping people. We've met a lot of great people. Oh, yeah. I think my grandma kind of started the whole helping people thing. Yeah, she, she did the street ministry for years, and she was always helping people in Wichita, Kansas, and England. And uh, they would travel from bridge to bridge yeah. for shelter, and my mom would take them blankets and food. And it, was, it was really good. Yeah, she'd help moms that were uh, living out of hotel rooms with their kids, and yeah. just all kinds of stuff. She, she kind of started the... Yeah, yeah, she kind of... Oh, her and grandpa, they always kind of had me and Kevin helping people out and stuff. You know, it, I mean, mom and dad taught us that stuff too, but it wasn't nearly as much as grandma did. But, you know, it, it kind of got us started on helping people out and whatnot. So let's uh, tell everybody goodbye because this is pretty much the end of the video. Uh, so thank you for coming to Cabin on the Hill. Please subscribe if, if you haven't. And uh, give us a comment that helps us to keep going and doing these projects. And give us suggestions. And uh, if you have some voices you want me to try out or something, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll do whatever. I mean, unless it's something crazy. I, I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of range, I guess. I do like that goofy for y'all. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please uh, stay tuned for the after shots. And uh, we love you guys as always. God bless. Uh, keep on keeping on. And keep trying to do the best you can in life. And if you get a chance to help somebody in need, please do. Because there's a lot of things going on in the world right now. that Everybody needs a little bit of help and kindness in their life. Oh, yeah. And I mean, that's one reason why we're doing this, to hopefully inspire more people to do it, too. So, mm -hmm. so thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. So long, everybody. I'm just sitting here 
I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together 